guys welcome back to my channel today we're going to dive into a topic that's close to my heart and incredibly relevant to everyone in our community economic development in our town over the past few years we've witnessed a significant transformation in our local economy and i'm sure you've all noticed some changes too in this vlog we'll explore the factors that have driven this growth and how they've impacted our town and its residents i'll also share some success stories shedding light on the people and the initiatives that have made a difference right here in our town so without further ado let's jump into the fascinating journey of our our town's economic development. Grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and let's get started. Let's begin by taking a trip down Limuri Lane and exploring the history of our island town's economy. Our town has always been closely connected to the sea, and fishing has been a primary source of income for generations. In the early days, our town's economy relied heavily on small-scale fishing and basic agriculture for survival. People would fish and farm to provide for their families. Over time, the economic landscape began to change. The introduction of modern fishing techniques and equipment allowed fishermen to catch more fish, and our town started to develop a reputation for its abundant marine resources. This attracted traders and entrepreneurs, leading to the growth of our town. In recent years, we've seen a diversification of our local economy. The growth sectors include ecotourism and services. Our island's pristine sea and rich marine life have become major attractions for tourists, fueling the growth of local businesses like resort or cottages. Additionally, the local government has been working to improve infrastructure and promote a business-friendly environment, which has encouraged investment and the establishment of new industries in our town. While fishing remains a significant part of our town's identity and economy, it's exciting to see the new opportunities emerging for our community. Now that we've seen how our island town's economy has evolved, let's take a closer look at some of the key factors that have contributed to this economic development. First and foremost, infrastructure improvements even have played a vital role in our town's growth. Better roads, public transport, and for people to travel and access essential services. These upgrades have not only improved the quality of life for residents, Speaking of new businesses and industries, our town has become a hub for entrepreneurs who see the potential in our thriving community. Their innovative ideas and ventures have created new job opportunities and generated revenue for the local economy. Some of these businesses have even expanded beyond our island, putting our town on the map as a center of excellence in specific industries. Education and workforce development initiatives have also played a crucial role in our town's economic development. By investing in education and training, we've been able to create a skilled workforce that can meet the demands of a growing economy. Together, these factors have created a positive environment for economic development, setting the stage for a prosperous future for our island town and its residents. In this segment, we'll be showcasing two more success stories Woo! of businesses that have made a significant impact on our town's economic development, a thriving poultry business and an innovative floating cottages business. First up is Jebel's Poultry, a poultry business owned by Jebber and Isabel, a couple who turned their passion for raising poultry into a successful enterprise. Jebel's Poultry has become a major supplier of fresh, free-range eggs and organic poultry products to our local market. According to the owners, Starting Jebel's Poultry has been a dream come true for us. We've been able to create jobs for our community and provide high-quality products to our customers. Our commitment to sustainable farming practices has also had a positive impact on the environment and helped promote eco-friendly agriculture in our town. At this point, this is me picking up freshly laid eggs and I would like to take this opportunity to thank them for letting me film inside this poultry house. Thank you, thank you so much. 
and also a shout out to my mom for being my camera woman. Next, we'll introduce you to Libtong Floating Cottage, the unique business venture that offers tourists a one-of-a-kind accommodation experience. Founded by our barangay captain and an entrepreneur H.O.N. Abel, Libtong Floating Cottage has achieved great success by providing charming and eco-friendly floating cottages to visitors seeking a truly immersive island experience. According to the owners, we wanted to create a memorable and sustainable lodging option for tourists visiting our beautiful island. Our floating cottages not only provide a distinctive experience for guests but also help preserve our town's natural resources by minimizing the impact on the environment. The success of Libtong has created new jobs and boosted tourism, which has been a great boon for our local economy. These inspiring success stories demonstrate the incredible potential of our island town and the impact that innovative businesses can have in our community. By supporting local entrepreneurs and initiatives, we can continue to foster economic development and create a brighter and more prosperous future for our towns and its residents. As we continue our discussion on our town's economic development, it's essential to address the challenges we face in maintaining and fostering growth. One of the key challenges is ensuring inclusive growth for all residents. It's vital that our economic development efforts don't leave anyone behind. This means creating opportunities for all, regardless of their background or skill level, and supporting local businesses that provide well-paying jobs so our residents can prosper together. Environmental sustainability is another crucial aspect to consider. As our town grows, we must ensure that our development efforts don't harm our island's natural resources and beauty. This includes promoting eco-friendly practices and supporting businesses that prioritize sustainability, which we've seen in some of our showcase success stories. And that's a wrap for today's vlog. We want to thank you for watching today's vlog and if you enjoyed wow. the content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Until next time, take care!